All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. This fighter has read the Marquess of Queensbury rules cover to cover. Truly one of the best boxers we have in the UFC today, and he works everything off of that jab. Oh, yeah, the jab is what got him to the show. He is just a phenomenal boxer, and John, I love you throwing out the Queensbury <laughs> rules in the walkout for this man because he signifies everything that is boxing. He's a guy that loves the sport. He wanted to take boxing on his back and bring it to mixed martial arts and show that it, it is as an effective form of combat as anything else. He said, I'll walk away from an Olympic opportunity to take my sport into the octagon and show that we are the best fighters in the world. And he's done that to this point in the UFC. All right, so here he is, one of the better boxers in this division. Certainly has a well-rounded MMA skill set, but it's hard to lead the walk with anything other than the hands, which might be the best in this division. Especially when you look at some of the highlights, right? You look at him landing that jab, and it's almost picture perfect. The jab lifts the head, the right hand follows, and guys are going to sleep. Yeah. I would love to be considered a boxer if I had the skills yeah. that this young man possesses. Be happy, because you've spent a lifetime developing it, and now it puts you on the cusp of UFC superstar. He looks as comfortable throwing a jab as I do, like, folding a slice <laughs> of pizza in half, you know? <laughs> and now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with the same height and some differences in reach. How about some Bruce Buffer? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 19 wins, 8 losses. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Beijing, China, Lee the Leech King Leon! And now, introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the center. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Counter jab, snaps the head back. That'll get his attention. And they separate. 
He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Some nice back and forth action here. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. And he landed the right hand there. Battling for hooks. Nice. That's a big hook. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Huge block there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Just over three minutes to go now. Trying to establish that jab once again. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, single collar tie now. Big punch from the clinch. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Right hook to the head block. Big kick lands. And they separate. You got to check these low leg kicks. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find oh, nice the job in the takedown and scramble to his feet. Oh, huge block! Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? It's messed up really bad. Nice one, two there. Plus right hand is true. Just misses with the straight right. Good punch. All collar tie. Leg kick. Whoa! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He is getting lit up right now, John. Big knee to the body. Yep. <laughs> All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket in both landings. Try to establish that jab. Single collar tie now. Great punch. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Lands flush with that right hand. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. And, oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. Chase that finish down now. Ten seconds to go. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. What a fight so far. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have the Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Three. Listen, that was awesome. I need more of that. I want you to go out at the beginning of this round and be aggressive. Peace. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. Nice loop and punch. Such a fast leg kick. Pretty good right hand. 
Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. Oh, can't put any weight on it. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Nice slip to avoid the left. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, a little single collar tie there. When you're in the clinch, you just pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Now connects with a right. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Blocks that strike. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Beautiful head kick. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. It's a nice one, too. Blocks the shot. Marty closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. The right hand just misses. Single collar tie here. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. What a punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Staying busy in the clinch to avoid a separation. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looks like a landing right on that right on the cut and targeted it, right? He's looking, you can see him almost putting a laser beam on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much, he just keeps making it split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Oh, nice hook by him there. How many times? Oh. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Okay, Trying to stay in this fight. Oh! Big kick. What a round. All right, so his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times the night would be over, and gladly, 
gladly over after you take a shot like this. But this man is just too tough. Some people say he's too tough for his own good. He would not agree with you. He wants to fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. Just like that, the fight is over. He got him! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way, and in order to get a fight of the night like we got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines going to stop in this contest at seven seconds of round number three. He's playing the winner by knockout. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.